Ever since the invention of the laser, the world has envisioned a laser weapon system. The technology is real. We are proving it in the lab, and we're also moving it out into the field and showing to ourselves and to our customers that this technology is real. You have speed of light delivery. You push a button, the laser's at the target immediately. You don't have a fly-out time. The munition is a precision beam of light that we point at the target, and we have a virtually unending supply. With our systems, you never run out of power. You can keep shooting as long as the adversary keeps throwing targets at you. There is a lot of mission space where the covert capability of the laser is also beneficial because you can cause an effect without there being any visible sign of what, what caused that effect. Lockheed Martin is the only company to have internally funded a 30 kilowatt laser weapon prototype. This is where science becomes a reality. We are actually in the process of building these high power laser systems, putting together in this lab, validating their performance. There's a clear path to get to 100 kilowatts and even beyond that based on our present technical approach. The landscape is changing. We're seeing threats that are cheap, fast, and small, and coming in from close range in large numbers. You really have to have exquisite eyes that you can see your targets with high fidelity to both put the laser beam there and to maintain it there sufficiently long. We've countered small rockets, UAVs, small boats, and a truck. Our warfighters need this capability to defeat these new emerging threats. We have all the core pieces now to be able to put together laser weapon systems. And so now we can envision complete laser weapon systems that can engage multiple targets with the speed of light with a very deep magazine that can be small enough, powerful enough, and capable to be carried on tactical platforms. So I really see laser weapons, kinetic weapons being side by side on the battlefield and together providing the defense that our forces need against traditional threats, kinetic weapons, emerging inexpensive proliferated threats, laser weapons.